Hey guys, so yesterday my friends and I, we went to kind of like a business club uh, where there was a panel discussion of experts talking about AI's impact on SEO. And I learned a lot of really cool things that I think you guys will find helpful in whatever business ventures that you're currently working on. So I decided to summarize that event from yesterday into a problem and the three solutions to get around that problem so that hopefully you can use that information for your own projects that you're working on. All right, so let's hop right into this thing. This is gonna be more of just like a conversational video, uh, which will be cool. Okay, so the panel of SEO experts, they kind of kicked off the meeting yesterday and they were a little nervous, I could tell. They were kind of sweating bullets, uh, which was funny to see. And that's because Google has just released their new AI overviews feature, which completely overhauls the SEO game and all the things that they've been doing over the last 10, 20 years on Google. So if you guys haven't seen Google's new AI overview feature, it's kind of crazy. Essentially, when you type a question into Google now, instead of Google feeding you a bunch of different articles and links that you can click on to get the information you need, they are summarizing all the information on Google and presenting that to you via AI in an AI summary view right at the top of the Google search. So essentially, all these companies that have built their brands around driving organic Google traffic to their web pages via advanced SEO techniques, et cetera, et cetera. They might be in big trouble. And these SEO experts yesterday at the panel, you could tell they were nervous about this because everything they do for their clients is to drive traffic to those links that Google feeds to you when you search something. All right. So they basically optimize their clients' websites to rank up in Google. But with this AI overview now, that might be all gone and you can just get the answer displayed right in front of you without clicking on anybody's website and reading their article. So they were in a little bit of a panic yesterday and you could tell, but they were trying to play it cool. <laughs> they were trying to play it cool. And so the rest of the time yesterday was spent on really talking about the three unique ways that we could counteract Google's new AI overview feature and still do well with SEO for our web pages. And so that's kind of why I wanted to make this video for you guys today, share with you those three techniques that we can use to still rank up on Google, even if Google isn't sending us traffic anymore and they're just gonna present answers to people without having them click our links. Okay. So the first solution they talked about was creating rich, engaging content that gives people a reason to scroll down past the AI overview section at the top of Google. So if we want people to continue clicking to our websites and driving that organic traffic to our websites, we need to give them a reason to come check us out. So they talked yesterday about adding podcasts and audio to your websites, video, whether it's YouTube tutorials or whatever it is you're making, video is very, very big because AI can't make that yet. Uh, interactive modules on your page, images everywhere. You need to create content that is authentic, real and engaging to get people to your website. Another thing they said that I thought was really, really fascinating was they said, look, it's very important to update your websites regularly with new engaging content. But if you're doing that automatically, if you've built some sort of blog writing system, some automation that writes your content for you on your web page, that's not really a good thing because Google will be able to tell what is AI generated and what is actually coming from an authentic author with tonality, with tone of voice, with unique personality. Google can tell that. They're smart, they're geniuses. And so in the future going forward, unique content with personality, with texture is gonna win over AI generated blogs. And so really when we're talking about writing AI generated blog content, like kind of like the ones that I've made some tutorials on that I'll have linked up here, we really need to focus on training those AI systems to mimic us, to add personality, to add color, to add flair, to add texture and tone of voice. Because if we don't, and our blog content is just kind of a summary of other content on the internet and it has no personality, it's not unique, Google is not going to feed people to our website. So we need to create unique, engaging content. That's really the main goal here. Okay, so that was kind of the first way that the panel of experts yesterday um, told us to counteract this new AI overview feature. Then they went into the second one, and this was very, very interesting. And I think they're right. Essentially what they're saying is, if Google is not gonna send people to our sites anymore via organic traffic, we need to get people to our sites ourselves. And we need to do that by creating 
backlinks, creating enough links, a network of links and backlinks that funnel people towards your site that you still are driving traffic and can rank up in Google. And so what they said was, if we are going to continue to send people to our website and replace all the lost traffic that potentially this Google AI overview feature is gonna take from us, we need to be creating podcasts with links in the description back to our website. We need to be creating tutorials, maybe videos on YouTube or something with links back to your website, uh, newsletters, posts on socials, et cetera, et cetera. Diversify the way that people can find your site uh, and link to them from all those different spokes around the wheel. And so they said one really easy way to do this is through affiliate links. So let's say for example, you're selling I don't know, vacuums, I don't know. <laughs> Let's just say you're selling vacuums. One easy way they said, and one effective way they said, to get people to your website without relying on the Google organic traffic is by creating like product reviews or product comparison content. So whether that's a blog post comparing your vacuum to Hoover or a YouTube video where you do a product review on your vacuum versus Dyson, whatever it is, you include links back to your site for your product, but you can also include affiliate links for your competitors, which is kind of counterintuitive. And while you might send some people to your competitors to buy their vacuums, you will also increase the visibility and awareness of your vacuum, and overall you'll increase traffic to your site, while you'll also make a little bit of money on affiliate links, which is kind of funny. So essentially what they said is, if we wanna counteract this Google AI feature, create a network of backlinks and affiliate links to send people to your site from all different types of content. And that should help counteract the lost traffic that you lose if they don't scroll down past that Google AI overview new feature. Okay, and then the third solution that these experts gave yesterday in kind of counteracting this new Google AI overview feature is kind of funny. It's kind of an admission from them, I think, that maybe we won't be able to stop this AI way from overtaking SEO. Because in their first solution, they basically say, make better content, give people a reason to scroll down past the AI overview. In solution two, they basically say, okay, if we are gonna lose this content from AI overview, then you gotta create a network of links that get people to your site. This one is kind of interesting because it's like, okay, if we can't beat them, if we can't get around it, let's join them. And so this third solution they gave is essentially, we need to structure our websites and the content on our websites in a way that allows us to actually show up in the Google AI overview. So essentially what they said was, we need to create FAQ sections and different question answer sections on our websites, in blog posts on our websites, et cetera, et cetera, so that when people search for something in Google, the information that you have on your website is what is shown in the Google AI overview. Now, this sounds a little bit like a stretch to me. I know it's like, how am I gonna show up in the actual Google AI overview? Like, <laughs> that sounds impossible. But they said the key here is, and I think this is how it's always been in SEO, is you wanna niche down. You wanna find that keyword or that string of keywords that kind of gives you your own little world, your own little niche to rank on in Google. So the example they gave was, okay, let's say your keyword or your string of keywords is uh, camping with dogs or camping for dogs. So I wanna go camping with my dog. I make a website that sells, I don't know, dog tents, dog food for camping, et cetera, et cetera. You know, it's just like a little niche, fun little example. But they said, if somebody goes on Google and types in, hey, I live in New York City, where can I go camping with my dog? If you have a section on your website or an FAQ section that answers that question, hey, if you wanna go camping in New York with your dog, you should go to ABC Campgrounds up in Albany or whatever, you know, I don't know. If you're able to actually answer that question for the Google searcher, well then there's a good chance that the Google AI overview will present your answer to the Google searcher and then they'll come visit your site. And so that's kind of the example that they, that they ended with. And so by the end of this panel yesterday, I think we had at least a framework that we could start to work with uh, to counteract the crazy changes that are gonna come here over the next few months and years as this Google AI overview just gets better and better and better. And so I think if we really can enrich the content on our websites, make it interactive and fun and unique with tone of voice, and then we can also send people to our sites with redirects and affiliate links and, and backlinks and all that good stuff. And then we can also structure our website in a way 
uh, that the AI overview can present the information in our niche to the Google searcher in that AI overview section, we can still do well on the SEO front in this new AI driven world. So get down to the comments, guys. Let me know what you think about what I learned yesterday. Let me know if you think these experts were accurate or if they're just talking out of their butts because they're scared to death of what AI is going to do. I'm interested to see where this thing goes over the next few years. Uh, and I hope you'll join me in watching it all unfold. So if you guys like this video, go down and smash that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, get down to the comments. Let me know what you're thinking. I really want to open a little discussion down there and talk about where you think AI is going to send the SEO industry. Anyways, guys, thanks for being here and I'll see you all on the next video. Peace.